Hello, my name is Patrick Dufresne. I'm the main developer working on Minarca Data Backup Solution. And during this video, we'll present you how to install Minarca server on a fresh Debian Linux server. So I've already took the liberty to install a Debian server. Uh, it's currently installed in an LXC container and it's completely fresh. Nothing has been done so far. So we'll start by upgrading the package uh, to have an up-to-date version of Debian. So apt update to update the list of available package and apt upgrade to actually do the actual upgrade. It might take a while. Now that the system is almost updated, we'll just wait a bit. So now our system is up to date. So we'll continue by installing some dependencies that are a prerequisite to get and install Minarca server. So following our documentation, we'll install curl, which is used to download our public key. We'll add support for HTTPS for APT. We'll also make sure that we have a root certificate to trust the HTTPS connection. LSB release is actually used to uh, check which version of Debian you are running and GNU PG, which is used for the package signature. So let's continue with the installation of dependencies. Now that it's done, what we need to do is to download our public key from our server. So let's install it. Perfect. And next we can add Minarca as a list of available package. So here we're gonna add a new line uh, for APT to know where is located Minarca. Uh, we need to make sure that we support only architecture AMD64 and that package are actually signed with using our public key. So let's add this. And finally, we can update the list of available package. As you can see, APT actually fetched some files for, from our repo and that shall make Minarca available for install. Let's continue. So by installing this package, what you should have is now a new service, which is called Minarca server. And that status and that process should be running. So as you can see, it's running and you can also list process and you're gonna see that Minarca server is now a new process running on, on your server. By default, Minarca will listen on port 8080. So if I'm to use a browser, so now I'm connected to this new Minarca server. The default username and password is admin and the password is admin123. Uh, now that I'm connected, I can see there's no repository because, well, it's a fresh server. There's no backup yet. So uh, I really recommend you to uh, go directly to the admin area, go to users and create a new user because I, re I strongly recommend not to use the administrator itself for your backup. It should only be used for administration uh, purpose. So let's create a new user for ourselves. The email is optional, uh, but it's really useful if you want your user to receive notification. But for that, more configuration is required on your side to make sure that you configure an SM SMTP server to send the, uh, the actual email. 
I will pick a strong password. As for the root directory, well, you can just leave it empty. By default, Minerka will like configure that for you. Uh, and let's click add user. So you can discard this message. In new version, uh, this message will disappear. So now I can see that there's a new user named Patrick and the location for the backup is actually this path. If I'm going back to the SSH connections, I can check that the file and folder exist and, and I can see it's currently empty. So it's now ready to receive new backup for that user. So in another video, I will present to you how to install and configure the Minarka agent for that user. So thanks for watching.